Alright, uh, this portion is going to be about uh, Windows Media Center music um, and how you can pretty much use your Windows Media Center to play your music, um, all your MP3s, and all that type of thing. Um, <clears throat> so basically, uh, I already have mine set up, so, and I'll go through how to set it up. But uh, basically, you'll go in here and you can see all your you know, music that you have. Um, and basically, whatever's in your music folder, if it has the the album art on there, it will show it here. Um, any tags that you have, if you set them up, um, not all mine are set up. Some of them are, some of them not. So you can actually view it by the actual cover, and you can go, you know, it's all in alphabetical order. Uh, you can do it by artist, so it actually just shows in small, you know, just names. Um, you can do it by genres. Um, to, for this to work right, though, you have to actually have it set up, um, your actual music tagged uh, correctly. Uh, but you can do view it just by songs, um, which will probably take a minute for mine since I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, so you can actually just view it by songs. Uh, you can go to playlists, uh, view it by composers, all that stuff. You can do a search, you can do a play all, um, and it works just like any other, you know, MP3 player pretty much. Um, so you can actually, you know, create your own playlist. Um, basically, how you would set it up, um, and which is kind of cool. I have a, I have a server here, so you just go to uh, tasks and settings, uh, and media libraries. You search for uh, music, and then you just add folders, and then basically here um, <clears throat> I have a map network drive to mine. So you basically, I would put on this computer, which includes the map network drives. Um, so you, if you have it local, you can just locally set here, or you can. Um, choose on another computer which you actually have to manually type it in uh, but basically I would just go here I just set up a map drive since I have a server it just makes it a whole lot easier you don't have to worry about passwords and all that stuff if you're uh, set up right and I'm just going to breeze through this I'm not actually going to actually do it but because it will take a while but basically you just kind of go through here and I have a music folder here so I would just click on that, click next, and it automatically just downloads it for you. Um, basically, we can just cancel out of this, hit finish because we don't want to make any changes. Um, if you click on this little Windows Media Center button, it brings you back out to the front where you were. Um, if we go to music, back to music here. Oops. Uh, you can search for music, uh, you can play the radio, uh, you can add to a favorites list, so if you have songs that you want to add to a favorites list, you just go ahead and set it up right there. Uh, and I'll actually play one, a song or something here, so you can see how it actually, it actually integrates with Windows uh, Media Player, but within, inside of Media Center. Um, let's see. We go to uh, we go to Metallica here. And we'll just play one here. So once you actually get in there, you can play the song. You can add it to your playing now list. You can actually go through and edit your info. You can burn it to a CD. You can go out to the internet and buy it. You can delete it, or you can actually rate it. Uh, it'll actually go out and rate it. And basically, you go in and it plays it. Now this doesn't have any album art on it, so it's not going to be out in the front here. But it'll, you know, it tells you all the info you need. I'm going to go ahead and mute it so we can finish talking. But you can actually do a visualization just like you can in Windows you know, Media Center um, Media Player. You'll, you know, at least make it look a little more interesting. Uh, hit this back button should bring us back out to the front. Um, so you got all sorts of, uh, let's go back in here, different options here, let's go back in so we can go over the other options, um, play song, 
uh, so you can go and you can play pictures, so it'll shuffle through pictures for you. Um, you can set it to repeat, shuffle, if it's a whole CD or a whole. And you can go out, obviously, and buy the music if you'd like to. Uh, and that's basically uh, the music portion of Windows Media Center.